I thought it would be good to talk about how you how you feel blocked sometimes. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel blocked a lot. <laughs> um, and I do agree that it's the hardest thing, uh, recognising and feeling the blocks. Last week I had a, um, a couple of hours where I was almost hyperventilating, just uh, being in fear and trying to stay in fear because it's really been blocking me for a long time. Um, yeah. What were you thinking of something in particular? Well, I was thinking that at, um, over the last year, like there's been lots of different, like the, the process for Mary has been, it's taken, it just uh, Mary's been a person who's always been relatively connected with her emotion, right? All through her life. She's had, uh, has, she, she's had a sort of an, av an average sort of an upbringing where there is blockages and, and also love given to her, but there is, there is all the, Mary herself was a very, is a very emotional person. When it came to a year ago, when she met me... I stopped feeling emotion. Because <laughs> so. I was very afraid. Um, yeah. yeah, so I worked through heaps of blocks about loss of control, identity, ridicule, what's my life going to mean, like... Um, yeah, am I giving my power away? Um, and lots of things that I just had to talk about for a long time. Some things I released emotionally, some I just sort of had realisations of truth. Um, some kind of got released when I connected with God a bit more. Yeah, yeah so, so that whole period of time of, uh, of just over a year, or just about a year, Mary was dealing with blockages but feeling very, very frustrated connecting with emotion. So, where did they look Yeah, like? I felt like I couldn't cry anymore. I was like, what is wrong with me? I used to cry at TV ads and now I can't cry. <laughs> and I really thought, and it really did, t it took almost a year for me to properly connect with causal emotion. Um, and I can recognise that that's because my causal emotion means a lot about my identity. And so that was a huge block. Um, but now that I sort of um, broke through a barrier or something, I still get blocked, but it's not the same. It's not this frozen up feeling of like, oh, why can't I can't feel. I used to say to AJ, find the button on me that is the tears, because I can't do tears anymore, you know, there must be a place. Um, but now it just sort of um, comes a lot freer. And Aurora, and even processing the fear, like instead of just living in the fear, I actually felt it, like it was a physical process. So you see how she had this back, and, and I've seen this happen, this happened in myself and, and every other person I've actually met, where it's very, I've met very few people who have been able to get straight away into their emotion. Most of the time they've had a year of blockages to undo and then they start getting into some cause of emotion. Because if once the blockages are there, you're becoming more and more like a child, once the blockages are gone, and then the emotion just pops up. And so I felt the change in Mary when she, she, she went from, from finding every emotion very difficult to actually desiring every emotion. And there was a switch that happened probably only maybe six to eight weeks ago. Uh, that where she made a switch from from still trying to fight every emotion, control every emotion, into actually now desiring every emotion. So perhaps using the word allow isn't the right word. Perhaps the right word is really desire, uh, to actually get to a point where you desire all of your emotion. And when you get to that point, and that's about releasing all of these blockages that were piled on you, from the moment you were born or even the moment you were conceived onwards. It's about releasing those. When you release those, all of the emotions flow really quite rapidly after that. And I, it was also about releasing judgment about emotion. Like, before I would be so afraid of the emotion, I think, oh, if I have this emotion, I'm a bad person. This is me, I am this emotion. And now it sort of feels more like like a voyage of discovery, like, oh, I've got that in me, oh, okay, oh, let's get that out, sort of, it's different, yeah. So instead of seeing everything like a pain, 
you see everything like a pleasure. You know, it's like every new thing you discover about yourself feels good to discover, even even if you before used to judge it as bad. So like it's like yourself saying to yourself, oh boy, I'm a sexual deviant actually. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that about myself before. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let let's deal with that, you know. Uh, rather than going, oh, you know, and, and every sexual deviant that comes into your path getting angry with them and all that kind of stuff, which is all the avoidance happening. So, you know, look at every discovery of yourself as a, as a wonderful thing, and, uh, and things will start flying as well. But allow, you, you're, you're dealing, um, like you are dealing with your blocks. You, you're just feeling like, you know, the causal isn't happening, and so you're feeling quite despondent. The key is to not. You don't need to be that despondent. Of course, if there's an emotion under it, go for that. But, but you need to see that you are actually pro progressing. The feelings that I get from you now are far less, there's far less resistance in you uh, than there was before. You, you've got rid of a blockage about, about God. You know, is there really a God? You know, am I willing to experiment with that? You've got really, uh, rid of a blockage about should I try to do something that that might not work in the end? You know, fear of that. So it's quite a few blockages that you're all childhood blockages that you've already got rid of, that you can feel are gone. Mm -hmm. So you, you are progressing. It's just that it's just that that cause of emotion will flow when some when more of those blockages get released. <laughs>